What's up 2959? Here we got a special Eat 2959 episode for you where we are going to be making the wildly popular protein waffles. Now this is such a simple recipe but a lot of people are scared of it because you're adding an ingredient that's not typically in your waffles and that's protein and today we're using ESN Synthes 6 chocolate cake batter. So we're going to have chocolate cake batter Belgium waffles. So if that sounds as delicious to you as it sounds to me, then follow along and let's get cooking. So the first step of these waffles, and I've laid everything out here. Now when you think of waffles, or when I think of waffles, I definitely think of an unhealthy breakfast option. Waffles come with butter, they come with syrup, they generally have all sorts of milk and sugar in the process when you're making them to make the waffle taste good and fluffy. Oh, time to go. So here's the, the beep of the waffle maker. So that shows the waffle maker's on. I'm going to show you how quick it can be to make Belgian waffles way quicker than you might think it would be and way easier especially when the ingredients are all laid out like this but first step before we mix our ingredients together I'm just going to spray the waffle maker generously with some pan let it sit and then from here we're going to mix the pancake waffle mix like I said the Arrowhead Mill sprouted grain waffle mix now the recipe here calls for one cup of the Arrowhead Mills Organic Sprouted Grain Waffle Mix. I'm doing a little less than one cup to account for the protein that I'm going to add in. I'm going to use two scoops of protein, which is going to give me 50 grams of some super effective Synthesis 6 protein. And it's the chocolate cake batter flavor, so it's going to give the waffles a chocolate cake color and a chocolate cake flavor. And again, you're not going to use the entire one cup. You don't have to go much less than a cup, but just a little under the cup line should do it. I use a square mixing bowl, and I use that for a reason. When it comes time to pour the batter into the waffle iron, it pours a lot nicer out of the lip of the square bowl. So first we add the batter. Now you could use water, but I'm using a cup of almond milk. It gives it a really nice creamy buttermilk flavor without the milk. So dump that right in there, one egg, boom. Now it says uh, a tablespoon of honey, but that's something you can eye. A lot of people get scared when it comes to the kitchen. They don't want to follow recipes. They don't want to follow them exactly. And you know what? You don't have to. I find that if you eye things and think about how much you might want in there, you usually get, you get the point across and you, you get the same meal at the end. I mean, what's the difference if it's a little less than a tablespoon or a little more than a tablespoon? But that seems like just enough honey. And now it's time to mix it up. And then once it's mixed up a little bit, we add one tablespoon of canola oil. So, so far, this is the really the only questionable ingredient up to this point. And it's only one tablespoon of canola oil, so that's no problem. So here we are. Just a normal waffle batter mix up to this point. And then the fun starts. So we're going to put two scoops of our Synthes 6 chocolate cake batter. Nice big scoops. Now I've tried this with other proteins and these waffles did not come out as good. This is the protein you want to use. You want to use Synthes 6. It's by BSN. Go get it. You can get it on bodybuilding.com. You can get it at your GNC. They have a regular chocolate flavor, which is excellent, but go for the chocolate cake batter with this. I find that not only do these waffles come out great, they come out better than regular waffles. This machine, you know, sometimes your waffles get stuck and they're hard to peel out. When I add the protein powder, they come out fluffier and they come out easier and they look better. So I don't know what's going on with this protein, but it's perfect. It's a perfect addition to this uh, waffle recipe. You want to stir it up real nice just to get the lumps out and in the meantime this is already heated up and it's ready to go. This recipe will make two waffles, two big full size Belgium waffles. If you can't eat them all at one time, uh, there's no problem throwing them in the fridge and popping them in the toaster in the morning or throwing them in the freezer if you want to make a bunch at one time. So from start to finish, I don't think this takes really longer than 10 or 15 minutes, but if you don't have that kind of time in the morning, Pop one out of your freezer, make your own frozen waffles, and you're good to go. So here you go. Everything's in the 
in the mix. Lift this up. You want to pour into the center of the waffle maker and let it flow into the other compartments. And once it's pretty much full, just shut this sucker up, give it a flip, and let it cook. This should only cook for about two or three minutes. I'm going to pause this for right now. And when I open this back up, wait till you see the waffle that we just made. All right, the green light's on. So this waffle maker is pretty brainless. You just pop it in, the green light goes on. And when the green light is on, the waffle's ready. Watch that. Woo, peels right out. Look at that perfect waffle. Now, I'm not one to brag or boast. I'm a down-to-earth guy. Ask my mom, ask anybody. But look, if that's not a perfect waffle, what is? Look at that. Look at the consistency. It's not falling apart. You would never know that there's that added ingredient until you eat it. Oh, it tastes like chocolate cake. It really tastes like chocolate cake. Mm. 50 grams of protein total in all the batter. This is half the batter. So this one waffle has 25 grams of protein plus whatever nominal amount of protein comes in the regular waffle mix. So now you're not eating just useless carbs. You're getting whole grains and you're getting a heaping load of solid, great quality BSN Synthesis protein, chocolate cake batter. You're getting 200 calories of uh, and and 22 grams of protein. So try it, and it's not just for breakfast either. This is a perfect meal for any time of the day. If you've never had a waffle sandwich, try that. Just rip this thing in half, put whatever you want inside of it, close it up, how, and eat it. And uh, again, don't forget your whipped cream. Oh, I wish. I wish you could try this right now, but I guess you'll just have to go out, get everything, and try it at home on your own. But this really is quite a meal.